All right, Michigan and Seton Hall are in a tie game with four minutes to go. Will we see an upset? Eh, maybe. Maybe we will. We'll see. I'm going to make a thumbnail. It's uh, commercial now. S-E-T. Seton. Hall. When's the next Bracketology? Um, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Probably not this week. Probably sometime next week. I need a break from homework, dude. I've been doing homework all night. We'll be better next year. We got good recruits. Yeah, UVA has been. Yikes. They got. They, they didn't just lose. They got brutalized today. Yeah, they, they got. They got brutalized today. I mean, that game wasn't even close. Houston did whatever they wanted, whenever they wanted. I mean, that's cause for concern if you're a if you're a Virginia fan. Okay, now I just gotta get. Michigan. Michigan's got a very big um, arena. I think. I think they have the biggest in the Big Ten. Is Michigan playing good? Not really. Not. Not particularly, so. Uh, yeah, North Carolina is on upset watch against College of Charleston. Um, they did win, but not by a lot. And that's, I think, kind of cause for concern because they had a they had a struggle game against against Brown, an Ivy League school. They were they started had a struggle win against Brown, so we'll see. All right, Michigan with the ball. They're going to drive, look, kick it, three. And it is good. All right, Michigan takes the lead, 60 to 57. Is that Kobe Bufkin? I don't know. The crowd beginning to, to make some noise. Seton Hall passing it around. Looking, top of the key. They get a screen, kick it. They fake the corner three. Ooh, Michigan fans want to travel. He kind of jumped up, but he didn't really leave the ground. Here's a drive inside. Layup is good. All right. One-point game. Michigan leads by one. 60 to 59. Three minutes to go. Um, Jared Roden has 16 points for Seton Hall. Michigan is going to slow the tempo a little bit. Top of the key. 10 seconds. Buffkin looks inside, drops it underneath for Dickinson, and it's turned over. Bad pass, and Seton Hall intercepted it. 
And I'm going to slow the tempo a little bit here. They swing it out to the corner. Here's a three. <sighs> no good. Too short. Rebound is bounced around, and I think they're going to say Seton Hall stepped out with it. <laughs> Bracketology once a week. Um... This early, I wouldn't. I'm not gonna do once a week. Um, may, probably once every other week. But once it w once January hits, then you'll be getting a week back to. Okay, Seton Hall shooting free throws. They made the first one go to tie it up at sixty. Two twenty six to go, second free throw to give him the lead. Rattles out. He missed short, so it's sixty to sixty with two twenty one to go. I've been working on homework all the fun fact every college basketball fan has a degree, it's called practicology. <laughs> Here's a drive inside from Michigan. Layup off the glass is good. Eli Brooks has seventeen points and he just gave Michigan the lead with now under two minutes to play. Seton Hall with the ball. They drive. Step back. Mid-range. Good. They tie it up at 62. Bryce Aiken with the step back. Mid-range. Ties it up. Minute 30. Eli Brooks looks at the top of the key. Brooks gives the buffkin. Brooks looks inside, turns around, they kick it. Nate Houston, the freshman, looks mid-range, no good. Rebound to Seton Hall with a minute 20 left. Seton Hall looks, and they're going to call a blocking foul on Michigan. Dang, Seton Hall came a little fast, knocked the guy over. They're going to call a blocking foul with a minute 15 to go. Texas is going to the Elite Eight unless we play Abilene Christian. Yeah, I'm going to adjust the rankings a little bit. I'm, uh, I'm going to move Gonzaga to my number two spot. The number two overall team. Not a two seed. Um, I am going to move Texas to a two seed. Now, who do I want to move to a one seed? Kansas? Kansas or Purdue? Who's worthy of a one seed? Who do y'all think? Kansas or Purdue? Who's worthy of a one seed? Texas has a bright future. Yeah. Well, I had them as, my, as a number one seed, but I'm going to move them down because of their loss. Kansas, yeah, I'm, I I agree. I think Kansas is a little bit better than Purdue, or they've looked a little bit better than Purdue. Okay, I'm gonna move Texas to a two seed. I think that's fair. What am I gonna do with? Oh, Illinois. I'm gonna move Illinois down. I'm gonna move Illinois to a four. I have them as a three right now. I'm gonna switch. Hmm. I'm going to move... Oh, no, Houston's at a three. I'm going to keep Houston at a three. Who are my other threes? Kentucky. I could move Memphis. Kansas City, Lake, Gonzaga, Purdue. Oh, yeah, Villanova lost. Okay, I'm going to move Villanova to a two and put Purdue as a one. And it's not really Villanova's fault. I mean, they played a great game against UCLA, but they did end up losing in overtime, so... All right, Seton Hall is shooting free throws. 
uh, to give them the lead. It's a one and one. Or no, he missed the first one. He made the second one. Okay. Seton Hall, that's their first lead since it was 24 to 23. Yeah, so I'm going to move Purdue to a one seed. All right. Michigan looks inside. Here's Johns, looks inside, layup, no good. Dickinson, rebound, put back, no good, but he's fouled with 53 seconds. Yeah, I'm going to put Purdue as a one seed, Villanova as a two. I'm going to move, okay, uh, which four seed should I move up to a three? Arkansas, Alabama, Memphis, or Tennessee? The score is 62-63, Seton Hall. Dickinson is shooting two free throws. He made his first one. It's now 63-63. I didn't have time to set up a scoreboard. So. All squared up at 63. Dickinson has 17 points. Tomorrow, St. John's plays Indiana. I kind of want to go to that game. Dickinson makes his second free throw. It's a one-point lead for Michigan. Where do I have Auburn? Six seed for Auburn. They're a good team. All right, the Michigan crowd beginning to make... A ton of noise, trying to make it hard for Seton Hall to communicate. They're double-teaming. Seton Hall getting kind of pressed up here. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Jared looks, and he is fouled. Wow, Jones fouled him way behind the three-point arc. And now Seton Hall's going to get two free free throws because cause they're in the bonus plus. What's my top ten? Okay, number one, UCLA. Number two, Gonzaga. Number three, Purdue. Four, Kansas. Five, I would say Michigan, but not if they lose. Free, first free throw for Seton Hall is good. Ties it up at 64. Um, Texas is up there. I like Texas a lot. I'm really high on Texas. Second free throw is good. The Pirates lead by... Do I have Seton Hall in my bracket? I do not. Win or lose, I'm going to add Seton Hall. They've played, they played really well. All right, Michigan calls a timeout. I'm going to move Illinois to a five seed, and I'm going to move Memphis to a three. I don't want to do it, but they have potential. I'm going to move Seton Hall to a four. I mean, actually, no, I'm going to keep St. Bonaventure at a five, and I'm going to move Illinois to a four, just because they were without... Kofi Coburn, I mean, maybe don't get suspended, but still, I mean, they still, they didn't have him, so. Okay, um, Michigan State can stay at a seven. Colorado State got a really good win over Oral Roberts. Not only did they win, they won by quite a bit. Oh, Florida, I'm gonna, okay, you said Auburn should be higher than a six. How about I switch them with Florida State? I have Florida State as a five. I'm going to move them down. Because they lost to Florida. Um, then I'm going to move Illinois up here because I can't have all. Auburn and Alabama are next to each other because they're in the same conference. Okay, Eli Brooks looks inside. Floater off the side rim and no good with 18 seconds. Seton Hall gets the rebound. Michigan is going to foul with 13.9 seconds. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What you doing? What are you doing? Wow. Wow. All right, what else do I want to change? Um, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make sure I add Seton Hall. Who am I gonna take out? I gotta take someone out. I'm going to take out Washington State. I don't really think they'll be that guy. I'll put Seton Hall as a play-in for now. 
If they win, I'll move them uh, uh, out from. A, if they win, I'll put them at a ten seed. How about that? And then if Michigan loses here, I'm gonna, oh Virginia, what are we gonna do with you? Jeez. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna move Florida to a seven. Maybe I can move them up if I want to. Here's the first free throw for Seton Hall. No good. Okay, and then... Doesn't... Oh, I heard Oklahoma State has a tournament ban. So I'm going to have to take them out. Oh, I, I could put Washington State back in. All right, Seton Hall made the second free throw. Two-point lead for the Pirates. Here comes Michigan with, with 11 seconds. They're going to call timeout with 10 seconds. Who am I rooting for? I'm rooting for Seton Hall. I don't like Michigan. I'm a Michigan State fan. I don't like Michigan. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, who are my six seeds? UNC... I'm going to keep Florida as a seven against when Texas plays Tennessee. Who do you think is going to win? I'll be a really good game. I'm going to take Texas. I think Texas is better, but that will be a really good game. Which one of my three seeds am I going to move up? Duke, Duke, what happened with Duke? The, 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 the Paolo Benchero guy got like, in, Duke's in like a bunch of trouble. I didn't really hear what happened, but I heard that like, there was some scandal with Duke or something. Could someone UT versus fake UT? I don't know which one is which one you think is the real one. Some could someone explain to me what happened with Duke? Some something's going on with them, I know. Alright, here's Eli Brooks. He looks, he drives, he goes under the basket, he spins around, kicks it out to the three point line. Three seconds, Michigan. Pump fake throws it up. Oh, they call the foul. Uh, he, he did the pump fake, and he jumped into him, and I called a foul. So, Michigan's going to be shooting two free throws to tie the game. Oh, damn, man. That's so dumb. It's so dumb how you can pump fake, and then they jump, and then you can just throw your body into him. That's so st I hate that, dude. I hate it when people do that. 0 0.08 seconds left. First free throw. No good! The first free throw is no good. And with less than a second left, that's game. That has to be game. You, you're going to have to intentionally miss this and get a tip back. He just blew that at the line. He, oh. And he made the second one. He tried to throw it off the glass. See, not just inbounds it. That, that's, oh, there's, there's 0 0.02 seconds now. There's two tenths of a second on the clock. Seton Hall's gonna shoot free throws, but that's not even enough time to get a shot up. If there's less than zero point zero three, if there's less than three tenths of a second, you have to tip it. You can't actually get a shot off. You have to, you have to tip it. But that's gonna that's gonna do it. Let's see. First free throw. It's good. You got to miss this next one so Michigan can't get a shot off. He missed the second one. Dickinson just throws a football pass. It's over the basket. Anyway, and Seton Hall has pulled the upset 67-65 on the road against Michigan. Good on you, Seton Hall. You're an eight seed now because I'm feeling generous today. You get a top five team on the road? Sure, you can go from on right. I'm moving Virginia to an 11 seed. Play in. That might be a little harsh for Virginia, but... You should be able to beat Navy. And not be able to get blown out by Houston. Now, where are we going to put Michigan? They're at a two seed right now for me. My three seeds we could move up are Memphis, Duke. I'm going to switch them with Houston. Houston impressed me. They had a great win against Virginia. And they made the Final Four last year. They're they're still a really good team. So I'm going to put Houston as a two seed. I'll put Michigan at three. It's still early. Teams can move. Okay. 
fuck Eddie Chandler's the real deal. Oh, he's the best freshman in the state of Tennessee. I don't know who that bum Mamoni Bates is. He's a shitter. He's a coward, too. Let's go, baby. Michigan. Pulls it off. That was... That was great. Now, can someone tell me what happened with Duke? What, what happened with Duke? I don't know. Uh, hold on. I need to see what happened with Duke. Like, hold on. Two Duke Hoops players, including likely NBA lottery pick face, changes related to DWI. I think that's driving while intoxicated. Two Duke basketball players face charges in Orange County, North Carolina, following driving while impaired. Court records show Michael Savano, Duke coach Mike Krzyzewski's grandson, was arrested for DWI while star freshman Paolo Banchero is charged with aiding and abetting DWI. Here are the stories what it is the incident. Two Duke basketball players facing charges in Orange County this morning. Mike Krzyzewski's grandson was arrested. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We are reviewing it. We are reviewing a legal matter involving two members of the men's basketball team. Krzyzewski said in a statement released by Duke, At Duke Athletics, any further action as a result of the situation will ultimately be determined by the vice president, director of athletics, and university officials. 20-year-old star Savaro has a court date December 9th on his DWI charge. Bonchero, who turned 19 last Friday, has a December 8th court date. So can they play? Can can they play while they're awaiting this court date? Hmm. Well, if they're suspended or go to prison, then they're screwed. Oh, my grandson, you've been rivals since you were babies. What's his name again? Yeah. We predict any bowl matchups. I want to do college picks tomorrow. Sure. We could. I'll put my New Year's Six Bowl projections. I'll tell you what they are right now. All right. Orange Bowl, semifinal. Number one, Georgia. Number four, Cincinnati. Cotton Bowl. Number three, Ohio State. Number two, Oregon. For the Rose Bowl, I have Michigan and Utah, since it has to be a, uh, a what's it called? Since it has to be a Pac-12 team. In the Sugar Bowl, I have Alabama and Oklahoma State. In the Fiesta Bowl, I have Notre Dame and Oklahoma. In the Peach Bowl, I have Michigan State and Wake Forest. All right, let me go back to this bracketology. So isn't Oklahoma State suspended or something? I think so. So here, I'm going to take Oklahoma State out. I'm going to put Virginia as a 9 seed. And then I'm going to get Washington State back in there. I'm high. I got expectations for Washington State this year. I think they'll be a pretty good team. We would smack Wake Forest. I don't know. Wake Forest is a pretty good team. Wake Forest does have Clemson this week. That'd be a good game. We'll see if Clemson can beat them. What bracketology are you using? Um, I make I made my own. I didn't use one this year. I made I made my own completely. So let's see who else do I want to move around. I want to move Colorado State up. I was impressed with their win over over uh, over Oral Roberts. I thought that was a really good win. I was impressed because not only did they win, they blew them out. Or I mean. I mean, I was expecting Oral Roberts to have a pretty damn good team this year, and they they whooped their ass. So I'm going to move them to a 10 seed, and I'm going to put St. Mary's in the play-in. St. Mary's. Obviously, they'll get a crack at Gonzaga twice. I'm going to keep Michigan State as a 7. 
Seven's fine for Michigan State. Um, yeah. I moved Seton Hall to an eight seed. That was an impressive win. Um, I mean, I think it's fine to, like, slightly overreact early in bracketology because, like, all I've seen from Michigan is they're 2-1. And, one and I'll start, yeah, you're right, Sky. BYU is smacking around Oregon. I looked. That game was a blowout. It was, like, 37-12 to 12 or something. Did you see Mizzou lost something called Missouri, Kansas? <laughs> Missouri, Kansas City is at least D1, though. Last year, Kansas State got blown out by a D2 team. Let's see. What else do we have? BYU is up 47, 50. They're 50 to 26. Jeez. Uh, Villanova beat Howard. Purdue beat Wright State. Duke beat the brakes off of Gardner Webb. Uh, Memphis beat beat SLU, St. Louis. Uh, Alabama beat Southern. Alabama struggle win against Southern Alabama. Obviously, Houston dominating win. Wonder if Izzo will retire soon. Maybe. North Carolina beat College of Charleston. USC beat Florida Gulf Coast. All right, what are we gonna do with BYU and Oregon? I I'm tempted to put. BYU ahead of Oregon, but I have Oregon as a five seed and BYU. I have Oregon as a five seed and BYU as an eleven seed. I mean, I don't really know what to do with them. I do kind of want to move Florida up. I'll put Florida as a six and Florida State as a seven because. They did beat Florida State. So. So let's put Florida State at a 7. I bet on the over 141 for Oregon BYU, you're thinking that's a big mistake. Maybe. Thoughts on Loyola joining the Atlantic 10. Is that a thing? Is that happening? I haven't heard anything. Is that just an idea? Or is that, do they submit a proposal? I haven't heard anything about that. That'd be pretty cool. Where do I have Oregon at? I have Oregon as a five seed. I'm going to drop them down. I think seven seed would be fair. I'll put them at a seven. I'll put... Sure, I'll put USC at a five. I think USC... I had USC... Okay, so I'm going to put Oregon at a seven and USC at a five. That, that seems good. And then, where do I... All right, I have BYU as an 11. All right, let's move them. Okay, let's move San Diego State to an 11, and we can move BYU to 10. And then... I can move... Let's see... What eight or nine seed? Notre Dame. I think Notre Dame like had a struggle win today. Or er, hold on, they were like loot. Hold on, my friend was complaining that Notre Dame was losing to High Point. Hopefully they ended up okay. They beat High Point by nine. All right. Um. All right. I'm gonna move Notre Dame to a. Ten. I'll move Notre Dame to a ten. Oh, I can't have them playing Florida State. They're in the same card. All right, I'll move. Okay, so I'll have Notre Dame. Okay, so Notre Dame will be a 10 seed playing Michigan State. And then Colorado State will be a 10 playing Florida State. I'll say I'm really impressed with BYU right now. All right, so that'll move BYU to a 9. Um, I could switch them with Xavier. Okay, so now BYU is an A. I want to. I want to put BYU as a seven. All right. Um, I'll move UConn to an eight. So they can't have them play Xavier. They're in the same conference. Xavier's Big East, right? Yeah, they're Big East. Okay, so UConn will play Texas Tech. Louisville will play Xavier. And BYU will play Rutgers. All right. 
So BYU and Oregon are now on the same line. Any other scores of note? Am I missing a game? What about Monday? Who played Monday? Everyone that won was supposed to won, except uh, except Marquette. Now, oh, do I add Mar? I'm gonna make Marquette a play in. Like, okay, I know they beat Illinois, but they were without their best player. And to be completely honest, eh, neither one of neither one of those teams looked particularly great, but. I think they're definitely worthy of at least a plan. I'm going to take Washington State out again. Um, let's see. Sunday... Say Bonaventure struggle win against Canisius, but that's fine. Marquette is an 11 seed, seems reasonable. Yeah, Tennessee v. East Tennessee State. Who won Saturday? Gonzaga v. Texas. Michigan v. Prairie View. Yeah, the teams that were supposed to win won. I'm, saying, I'm not really high in UConn. UConn's ranked, but I don't really see, see why. They're not really that great. Um, who won? Seen Hall won. They upset him. Purdue, Indiana State. I'm trying to see if I missed a game somewhere. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't miss anything. All right, that's gonna do it. I'll see you guys tomorrow with college picks. It's gonna be fun. I gotta finish this homework though. I have to finish writing a paper. So. Uh, I got to get on that. I'll see you guys.